and Lando Norris looking to tail Charles Leclerc as we come onto the onto the strip. But Lance Stroll signs an Ocon are all looking now to look to try and get the DRS to pass Lance Stroll for seventh position. Any points in the mid in the championship will really help the midfield out with their championship hopes. That extra million can mean so much of a difference in prize money as we come down the strip now. Carlos Sainz, the smooth operator, looking to get past Lance Stroll. He's tucked into the right hand side and L Lance Stroll defending the inside now. As Carlos Sainz is pushed to the right at the outside and Sainz is held off by Lance Stroll. But Esteban Ocon will fly into the pits and we'll see what happens here. What ties he will go on. But Verstappen is also going back through the field. He's really going to try and make a fight today. Fresh tyres once again and a new front wing. It's very unfortunate. I think he could have taken the lead of the race if he really wanted to. Max Verstappen today. But that Red Bull dropped down the order as a result of that earlier incident. Three seconds now the gap between the front two. Alonso 15 seconds behind Lewis Hamilton. But a safety car can change things very very quickly. But Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc now going through a few sections past the Wynn Hotel and onto turn 12. Coming now onto the strip as we go past Winners Plaza. But now Norris and Leclerc, Leclerc with the DRS as he comes and pulls to the right hand side as we go down the strip and Leclerc getting inches from the wall once again. Some of these moves are just too close for comfort today but no Leclerc sails around the outside of Lando Norris and there we are, lap 25 has begun and we begin the second half of the Grand Prix. This is going to get very, very exciting now as Verstappen is now going to challenge Lance Stroll for sixth place. He's making a motoring effort through the field once again and he only has to come off those tyres and he can go medium to the end. But a very impressive drive today from Max Verstappen and a very impressive recovery drive. And here we are then, onto Coval Lane as we make our way down towards turn five at the Caesars Forum and he pulls to the left hand side, you have the outside for the corner making it look very easy the world champion has done a brilliant brilliant job to keep his car in front and Sainz I believe has gone into the pits so for Stapp and Stroll I think now we'll battle it out Stroll's keeping with Verstappen, he's not. Might have just been a bit too much for Verstappen's tyres, the tyre drop offs just a bit too much. But Leclerc and Norris will now look to get the strip, slipstream and the DRS on Fernando Alonso as we go down the strip once again. Here comes Leclerc all the way down the long, long straight of the Las Vegas Boulevard. Pulling to the left hand side, here comes Leclerc with the DRS and Norris might try to tuck in behind Alonso here. No dive bomb from Fernando Alonso but Charles Leclerc in the Monza livery bumps his way up to third place and what a battle this is turning out to be. Orlando Norris, he doesn't really have the straight line speed of the Aston Martin is held, held back by the McLaren's power unit as a customer to Mercedes. Not really got the upgrades that Mercedes do on their engine this season. Orlando Norris, DRS wide open. Can he get a bit closer? But no, it's not the case. Leclerc goes deep and very, very deep. It's a small mistake from Charles Leclerc, and that nearly could have been costly. Straight in the wall, maybe in Las Vegas, and that would have been all over for the Monegasque. Norris following Fernando Alonso through lap 27 of the Las Vegas Grand Prix 22 23 laps to go to be 
come flying down Sands Avenue and past the Wynn Hotel and now onto the Las Vegas Strip and this is one of, probably one of the coolest settings for a Formula One race ever Lando Norris flying down the strip he's got the DRS but Alonso will fly through past Charles Leclerc but can Norris get it as well but here comes Norris he's not going to get the double not going to make the ambitious dive down the inside but Leclerc still there and Leclerc still holding out and it's side by side still as we go down Harmon Avenue down the pit straight and I think Leclerc might just have it here unless Norris can swing around the outside this is so so tight between the two drivers but Lando Norris holding out around the outside and I don't think it's just enough there Leclerc holds on but just just about but now they've ruined their gap and Alonso might just as well pull away from the threat of Charles Leclerc and Lando Norris and they're going at it again Norris pushed towards the wall as we go towards the MSG sphere once again round the outside goes Charles Leclerc Norris to the inside he's got to be very very careful Leclerc just riding the curbs just a bit too much but Norris 